I have never used a 3D printer before. This is gonna be my first attempt. This is the Kokoni, Kokoni. I'm Karen Chen, the CEO and the founder of the Kokoni team. EC2 3D printer. And it's supposed to be a very user friendly. So let's find out if it is. So what's actually in the box is this right here, but they sent me a little extra. I got super glue, precision blade. Ah, yes, I am familiar with these. Tweezers. And lastly in that little box, something to buff and sand with. Ooh, a t-shirt. I'm beginning to think. I look rather large in my videos. I love it. So for the first like 30 to 60 seconds, it, it kind of does this thing. It's just setting itself up. Now, I gotta get the app. Android. That didn't seem to do anything. So I went to the app store and hopefully this will work now. Okay, cool, I'm in. They already have some models that I can print. I can discover more. Oh. Email registration. Okay. Sophie, there I am. What? <laughs> hmm. You know what? I'm going to type out my email. Did it work? <gasps> Look at that. Ah, oh, slide the puzzle piece. Oh, okay. You don't, you don't have much time. All right, I think I'm in. Connect printer. This is the EC2. Bluetooth connected. Next. I guess I'm gonna have to agree. Allow. And we're back here again. It's right there. I found it. Look. Look, it's right here. You don't have to search anymore. Oh! Connecting. Oh no, I don't know this. I've put in all my information up above. All right, finally, let's print something. Ah, oh, yes. I was gonna do jumping frog, but are there more options now? Discover more. Oh! <gasps> a lock? There's a padlock? Oh my god, oh my god, oh! But how does that work with multiple colors? Does it print every piece separate and then I put them together? How does that work? Oh, there's a Santa Claus. Oh no, I don't know how I'm gonna pick something. Oh. There's so many options. I'll be right back. You know what, I show a lot of bikes on this channel, so let's show one more by printing this. Oh, look at that. These all look the same, but there's different durations. So medium is one to two hours, long over two, short. Okay, let's go with the first one. I'm just gonna start. I'm not gonna do anything here. I'm just gonna go to next. I don't know. Next. Confirm. Start. It's doing something. Oh boy. Okay, so I just snapped this off. Looks like I'm gonna be assembling another bicycle. Maybe I should show you how it prints in real time, just a little clip. Cause most of these, I sped it up a lot, like 5,000 times. And I think the very last one, even more than that. The 
last piece. So this little platform that's on a magnet, I just pop it out and then I pop this off. And it always does this little outline first before it gets going. That easily comes off. And this easily goes back onto here. But now can I easily put this bicycle together? Five different prints. This did take several hours. my channel needed a bike there wasn't enough of those so I'm like hey let's assemble another one but this time let's just make this one from scratch so this is made in the US from imported materials <laughs> it's a shame I don't have a Barbie doll to put on this oh well to change the color click on connected to one device click this click over here and then basically just follow the instructions, starting with scanning the QR code that's on the cartridge. And then it makes you wait a little bit. Basically what it's doing is it's pushing back the filament that's in the tube back into the cartridge. This little piece, don't lose it. Hold that down, pull the tube out, pull that out, and well, there you go. <laughs> then you just switch the cartridge lock that back in place and put the tube back in and push it in there like a little bit otherwise it could pop out put that little piece back and click next so now it's going to heat this up and run it through the tube the orange one kind of broke on me so i just took the tweezers and yanked it out of there but there are instructions that show you how to replace the filament inside the cartridge. So once it pushes it through, it comes out here, it pushes out the white, and there's the orange. Oh, that's kind of satisfying. It's like a giant zit. This came in a vacuum sealed bag. Well, that obviously got ripped and I don't have a vacuum sealer, but maybe a Ziploc will work to store the rest of this because there's still plenty left in here. You can also do other things in here including oh where was it is it this one yes you can print yourself okay please work it can't get any clearer than that it really can't yes i'm not gonna have a crown wait is that me got my nose really good <laughs> not bad from a photo but the orange color I also made this phone stand this actually took a lot of hours it's pretty big for such a small printer and it works pretty good without a phone case but with not so much <laughs> there are other features in here that are pretty neat like printing text but the one I really wanted to try was being able to print just some random object in my house. You have to take at least 25 photos and it does show you how to do it. I tried this three times and I could not get it to work. The background is important, consistent lighting is important, and my house is just filled with clutter and pretty poor lighting. So this is my final print. Oh, I almost forgot. No, I did forget because, well, here's editing me for the last time. There is a camera inside of the printer, so you can go through the app and it'll show you like a short little live video of its current progress. Final thoughts? It is easy to use. They were right. If I can use it, anyone can, because I'm really terrible with technology. So this was the Kikoni EC2 3D printer, and it's fairly affordable. So if you're interested in it, I'll have a link down below in the video's description. Cheesy outro time! Toodaloo-dalee-loo! <laughs>